Now, I think what we're saying here is that there's a desperate human need to understand these processes and uh, a great need to avoid value judgments until we understand them. We don't have a clue as to who to blame for anything, really. The act of placing the blame is itself escapism. Value judgments in these matters are pure escapism. They serve that function of taking us off the hook, taking the heat off. So as long as people, you know how people like to pour scorn and indignation on comics and popular entertainment, this saves them any need to cultivate their minds or to do anything about cultivation in the arts. As long as they're rigorously opposed to all this other stuff, they don't have to do a thing. It's pure escapism. I've been amazed and puzzled by it for a long time. and I've been paying attention to it for a long time. When I wrote that book, The Mechanical Bride, I was amazed to discover how rich the world of this vulgar, trashy advertising was. The world we ignore, and in which, you know, many of the best talents of our whole society, artistically speaking, are in the ad agencies. And there they are paid for exercising their talents, and the results of their efforts are expanded worldwide, are much better than any art gallery can do. And so yet, we have classified all this as trash, as filth, and this saves us the need to pay any attention to what's going on. Same way when we place blame in war and aggression, or in, uh, in crime. The criminal in society gets it this way, too, without anybody trying to understand what goes on. So uh, you can see what we're talking about here is communication. We're living in the, in the first great age of communication. We've got to understand. We've got to share. Communicate means to share. We've got to share all these problems. It isn't a question of who's to blame or who should who ought to do this or that. It's a question of a deep need for understanding what's happening. And that is not a one-man job. It takes a, a lot of dialogue, and a lot of observation, a lot of teamwork to understand anything. Part of our team down there. Mr. Carpenter, great man. We're absolutely delighted to have you, Mr. Takamura, to uh, expound any of these matters. You can see that, as far as a newspaper is concerned, that it would be fatal to take this approach to the problems of Vietnam or the problems of anything. Why? Why could no newspaper do this? point of view, like everybody, you, you couldn't write objectively, and that's the whole basis of writing for a newspaper. You'd have to give all, time, all sides of the picture being multi-faceted. Well, also, you see, there are no, there's no staff. There's no staff or writers available to tackle that kind of approach. The writers are all specialist, all fragmented. They have their beat here, and their theme on this side of the Avenue. And what we're talking about is worldwide and in depth.